this is uh, my first initial impression as a, a whiskey with a lower ABV and, and in that price bracket. For those of you that are like me, whenever you see an opportunity to grab sample bottles and try new flavors that you've never experienced, you usually grab it with both hands. And today what I wanted to jump into was one of those sample bottles that I picked up along the way, which is the Glen Goyne 12 year old. I'm not sure how well you'll see this given that it's a smaller sample bottle, you might not pick up on all the detail. But this is one that I recently picked up in a set of three different Glen Goyne whiskies being the 12 year old, the 18 year old and the legacy chapter two. So I wanted to jump into as I've never tried Glen Goyne whiskey before uh, my first time tasting the Glen Goyne 12. Uh, Glen Goyne is a Highland whiskey and the 12 year old expression typically retails in Australia between 87, 88, $90 to hundred dollars. Sort of one of those whiskies you can usually pick up just under a hundred dollars. Uh, it's a smaller bottle so it doesn't have all the information that perhaps the larger bottle does. So I'm unsure if this is natural color given the, uh, the, the sort of color that I can see on this bottle. It probably is natural color still. It's a very light straw like color. Um, this expression, the Glen Goyne 12 is 43% ABV and likely chill filtered. So we have a little bit of information, some tasting notes on the front of the label on this bottle. It says a perfect balance of rich intensity and citrus freshness, toffee, apples, ginger, shortbread and a hint of spice rounded out with a smooth oak finish. So uh, it sounds good. And uh, I, I wanted to do this with you guys today on camera, my very first impression and tasting on a Glen Goyne 12. So we're gonna open this little one, pour ourselves a dram, get into the nose and what I experienced on the palate and end with if I recommend it and think it's something that is worth your time and money. So let's open this one up now and uh, pour our very first dram of Glen Goyne 12. Okay. All right. So probably close to half the bottle. Okay. Let's have a look that color. It's a nice color, right? Like if that's natural color, it's, it's, it's very lovely, beautiful light straw color. Looks good. All right, let's see in terms of the legs on this one. Starting to form now. Uh, rather quick moving. So suggest that there's a bit of oiliness, but it's not going to be the thickest mouthfeel. And that pretty much aligns with my expectations being 43% ABV. I'm not sure if you can catch that. It might be a little tricky to get the legs on the glass might have to take my word for it. Okay. Let's now try on the nose and uh, see what, what I can uncover. It's not a bad nose actually. Definitely that lemon freshness. Like there's a really uh, strong, prominent and forward citric note there. A combination of maltiness light hay notes, a little prickly on the nose. I get a touch of the green apples, the apples that usually you would cook with a bit more crisp and, and sharp, a bit more of a, a, a bite, almost sour, the green apples. It smells good, I must admit. All right, I'm very eager to get this onto my palate and see what it's all about. So let's try now with the very first sip of the Glen Goyne 12 year old. Hmm. 
Mm. Not bad. It's very much a, um, there is a youthful sharpness in that I attribute this to the distillate, the youthfulness, a bit of that spirit bite, given that it's only 43% ABV. It still has a little bit of a, a nip on the palate. Starts off with that, that crisp freshness that they speak of. Lots of malt, plenty of, of the oakiness now. The maltiness is very lovely, just beautiful. Like taste this, this, the fresh barley notes are very, very prominent. And it, it, it starts to ease and mellow out and become much more rounded and, and sort of sweet on the palate towards the finish. This is pretty good. This is uh, my first initial impression as a, a whiskey with a lower ABV and, and in that price bracket. It's one that I'd be quite happy to, to pour in my glass and sit and enjoy. Sometimes you need those whiskies that are a little bit more straightforward. It's, it's a really nice, malty, fresh, very typical Highland whiskey. If you're someone who enjoys those kind of lighter and floral notes, uh, the fresh fields, cereal notes, a um, little bit of oak influence uh, without sort of too much of that robust sherry or port influence or the smokiness from a peated whiskey, this is something that I think will be very much in your alley. Lovely floral notes. It's just so fragrant and citric and malty. Hints of toffee and picking up some of the oakiness, almost like pine wood on the nose. I'm enjoying this. This is a, a, a little better than I expected. I think because I had a lower expectation around the Glengoyne 12, this has actually impressed me more than I had anticipated. I think it's time to take another sip and see how the Glengoyne 12 finishes on my palate. The, the sharpness of the initial sip has started to mellow, but still an enjoyable little bite to it. It's not so sharp that it's off-putting. It's, it's enjoyable. A little more roundness and completeness to the flavor profile now on my palate. You're getting a lovely note of the toffee. You're getting a little bit of uh, almost like a ginger type spice. The, um, the bitiness of a fresh ginger. I'm getting plenty of oak influence and a really nice field of barley. There's very much those fresh um, malt notes. This is a, a, a great whiskey to, to sort of pick up if you are, as I say, focused into the range of whiskeys that you could grab in Australia under $100. Now, it, this is not something that is going to blow your socks off and, and change your world, right? But we don't always need that. And if you were debating where to spend your money and you wanted something on a, a little bit more of an affordable side, I would recommend picking up the Glengoyne 12. It's definitely got enough to offer that it would satisfy someone who appreciates quality whiskey uh, without leaving you wanting. So. Very much a nice, enjoyable multi whiskey with a good age statement and uh, a little bit of a, of a higher ABV than that bare minimum 40%. So, yeah, I, I enjoy it. It's um, you know, a, a very successful first tasting, I believe. So uh, with that one said, I, I thank you guys for being here today and checking this one out, especially if you're considering looking for some alternative whiskeys and you might not have considered Glen Goyne. Um, it's one to uh, 
put on your radar. So please leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed this one today. And if you like this kind of content, I'm releasing videos every week. So make sure that you subscribe and click on the bell notifications so that you get a message every time that I release a new video. Uh, until the next one, guys, I'm going to take a little time and enjoy the uh, rest of this Glengoin 12 and uh, make sure that you enjoy your whiskey responsibly. Cheers, guys.